This is question three from paper 33 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that will bring you to the, my playlist that has all the solutions to the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link in the description that will give you an image of this question. So you can try it before looking at my solution. In this question, they give us uh, this equation with natural logs and exponentials. And they, they first ask us to show that this can be expressed as a quadratic equation. And then for part B, they're going to ask us to solve that quadratic equation. Right, to do that, uh, it can be tricky for a lot of students to see how to proceed in this. And one, one idea I'd give you is, it's very common, this type of question, to be left with something that looks like e to the 2x plus um, something, let's say, 2e to the x. That is a quadratic equation. We can change that into e, ex squared, and we can change this into ex, and that's something squared, something not squared, and usually a number here, um, and then a number. That's a quadratic equation. But still, how do we get this from this? Well, the first thing I'd say is we do have an e, an e to the power of something. Um, but to, to get to that, we need to get rid of this natural log. So let's just first do that. Let's get rid of the natural log. You might see then how e to the 2x would, would appear, or e to the minus 2x as it happens. But let's uh, go ahead and, and see what happens. Well, first, let's rearrange this so natural log is on its own. And that way we can get rid of it a little easier. We could get rid of it there. Um, so if I just rewrite that, bring that over to equals. Natural log is here on its own, the only thing on the left that has it. So let's just take uh, put everything... Um, Put everything as the power of e. So basically write e on both sides, like that. Let's move the equals down so that makes sense. And and what happens, the e destroys the natural log. I wouldn't have wrote, I shouldn't really have wrote the line like that. It's just easy to do on the board. I'd write it again. So e destroying natural log will become one plus e to the minus x. And on the other side, e to the minus two x. Now we've, we've got what I said we were hoping to get. So e to the power of 2 something and e to the power of 1 something. Let me rub this out and we'll get it again. I don't want it to confuse there. That's the wrong numbers now. Let's get everybody on the same side. Uh, I like to keep the, the x squared, or in this case not x squared, we'll call it u squared maybe, as a positive. So let's keep this guy as a positive. Move everybody over this side. Um, e to the minus 2x minus, this will become a minus, and uh, minus e to the minus x, the one will become a minus, minus one. And that equals zero, but let's just write equals zero on this side. And that, that's it, I guess that's part A, that is now expressed as a quadratic, or maybe they would like us to take one more step. Um, you could just write it like this, e to the minus x squared. Because that's the same thing, that's uh, how powers work. Two multiplies by this, and two is already multiplied by this. Uh, this is minus e to the minus x, and this is minus 1. Like I said, we have something squared, we have that something, and then we have none of that something. That's what a quadratic looks like. If you'd like to make it a little clearer again, and I, I usually do just to make it easier on myself, but you don't have to do what I'm about to do, you could say something like u is equal e to the minus x, and just write this again, u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. Students are much more happy looking at this, and um, that's uh, that's what a quadratic usually looks to them. Although, I pro actually, you know what? For the rest of this question, I will leave it like this because uh, I don't I don't particularly like adding a u in when I don't need to. Uh, so that's uh, that's the end of part A, but we can continue on with this uh, for part B. We just want to solve this quadratic. Um, to solve a quadratic. Uh, we need to factorise it. It is easier to look at this, I must admit. <laughs> we need to factorise this. Now, there's nothing that multiplies to get minus 1. Uh, sorry, nothing I can do in my head, anyway. That multiplies to get minus 1 and adds to get minus 1. Adds or takes away to get minus 1. So, we'll have to use the minus b formula. So, I, I won't write it out again. But minus b formula would be minus b, which is minus minus 1. That's 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's minus 1 squared, minus 4 times, I, this one I usually write out slowly, times a, a is 1 in this case, um, times c, c is minus 1 in this case, all divided by 2 times a, which is 2. 
Let's clean this up. This is uh, e to the minus x is equal to all this. Let's clean it all up. e to the minus x is equal to 1. That's uh, plus or minus the square root of 5, all divided by 2. Now, I can already say something here. e to the power of minus x will look something like this. Uh, e looks like this usually, but minus x would just make it inverted through the y-axis like that. Uh, would look like this. It's never below 0. It's never less than 0. So 1 minus square root of 5 can't work, because 1 minus square root of 5 is less than 0. So you can go ahead and rub that one out or write it again. Um, that's your one and only answer to this because you can't get less than zero. Um, we'll see that again actually when we, we take the natural log of both sides. So we want to get x still. We want to solve for x and solve the equation. Uh, so we take natural log of both sides. Natural log destroys the e. The, the, yeah, the e. So we're left with minus x is equal to the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. I, some students put this in a calculator now. That's it's okay. You'll be fine. I, I always leave leave the exact answer until the very end. Always leave an exact answer if you can. Uh, so x is equal. We just multiply both sides by minus one. It's minus natural log one uh, one plus square root of. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble writing that direction, but um, square root of five over two. And that's it, put that in the calculator and you'll get your, because they did ask for three, three decimal places, put that in the calculator, you'll get x is equal, I've done this out already. Um, I'm getting 0 0.481, but I'm nearly sure that should be a minus, um, I wrote it down wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I'm fairly sure that'll be minus. If it's not, I'm gonna edit this out and you'll never see. So, um, it must be a minus and I forgot to write it down on my notes. Okay, that's, uh, that's it for this question. If you have it, oh, that was one thing I wanted to just to point out. Natural log of a minus number doesn't exist either. So if you had have kept the plus or minus down to this point and you tried to do the two answers at the end, which is it's fine, it, you wouldn't lose any marks for this. So you could have plus or minus, plus or minus, and then you try and get two answers. One of the answers, the calculator would say one answer doesn't exist. That's just because natural log cannot work with minus numbers. Um, similar, instead of this question, the natural log would look like this, something like that. So it, it just never deals with a minus number. So you, again, you'd be reduced down to one answer. And if you did write two answers, some students would, for some silly reason, they write plus or minus, whatever number actually worked, um, you would lose a mark. The examiner only wants to see one answer, one answer only. All right, if you have any questions, any follow-up questions on that, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.